Late in the game, uh, D. White took a few shots in the paint after you pass off to him, missed them, and then you hit him for that deep shot way in the corner and you buried it. Just how is D. White's confidence to be like that go-to score at the end of the game has grown this year? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of talented players. Um, and, you know, I think we just try to put guys in the right spots. Um, you know, in the late late game, we were just trying to find the right matchup. Knew that they was going to double me. And uh, it was all about just trying to get behind the defense and, you know, play four on three. Uh, and in those situations, we just want guys to be aggressive. Jason, uh, yes, sorry, I, uh, question that is not related to, to the game. Uh, Jordi Parker is playing uh, very well in, in Barcelona right now. I don't know if uh, you you are you, you keep in touch with him, but you are, you are following him a, a lot. What do you think of, uh, about how he's playing uh, there? Uh, I did see he had a buzzer beater the other day. Uh, I haven't talked to Barry in a minute, but uh, you know somebody that you know I got a lot of respect for. I'm happy that you know he's he's playing at a high level. Um, you know, obviously I got to play with him two different stints with the Celtics and uh, you know it, he was the reason you know I went to Duke I wanted to be like him uh, so you know I got a, love, a lot of love for him and you know happy he's playing well. What's the process been like for you like I'll say now like tonight Jalen's out maybe in the past you figured out right, I gotta score 40 tonight um, but kind of understanding having, I guess, the trust in the other guys, understand you're going to get doubled pretty much the whole game and just kind of making those right plays and finding a way regardless? Uh, I mean, it's, it's not just that difficult. It's just uh, playing basketball the right way, right? Draw a lot of attention. I know that, you know, teams are just not going to let me play freely. Um, I understand that. So uh, watching film, it, you know, knowing when they're going to double and um, just trusting it, you know. Uh, making the right plays, making the right passes, uh, you know, throughout the course of the game, and and don't don't go away from that, right? You know, I I could try to beat the double every time, or you know, shoot over it, but uh, you know, don't get bored making the right play over and over again. Handling doubles was something that probably got good at like maybe two, three seasons ago. At this point, do you actually enjoy it when they double you? It allows you to set up wide open shots for your teammates. Like it seems like you're incredibly comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it just makes the game a lot easier, right? Surrounded, I'm surrounded by guys that can shoot, uh, make plays, and, you know, if they're going to double me, uh, you know, it just makes the game easier for myself. And it builds my teammates, you know, confidence in themselves. They're getting open shots. Uh, then the game starts to open up for them a lot more. Uh, and, you know, then, you know, we just have fun doing it. Do you feel like teams are playing you any differently? defensively because you are surrounded by more weapons? Um, you would think that, you know, but uh, still, I, I know they're they not going to let me play one-on-one. They're not going to let me be comfortable. I find the right matchup. they more than likely still going to send a double. Uh, but, you know, we just make them pay. Just continue to make them pay. Sorry to chat with... Uh, with uh, Kind of shorter before the game. I know you played, I guess, the one season with him in Boston, or half a season. Just what was he like as a teammate? We're kind of getting to know him here. Pretty hard to guy, tough competitor. It seems like he's able to make it kind of fun. Guys seem to enjoy him. Yeah, uh, I mean, he was a great guy. We only got to play with each other for like, you know, five months until the trade. But, uh, you know, great guy, great teammate. Uh, just like you said, super competitive, right? Uh, you know, and you, you understand that, you know, when you get to be around him a lot more that, you know, if he sees something he don't like, he's going to say it. If he did something I didn't like, you know, I was going to say it. And we kind of had that trust of, like, you know, we just wanted to win. And, um, you, know, there was, you know, we had hard conversations, but um, I got a lot of respect for him because, you know, he, at his core, he just wants to win. And, uh, you know, he's a hell of a competitor. Some scrape with somebody on the floor. <laughs> like if something's happening, he's in the middle of it most of the time. Yeah, uh, you know, that's just who he is. He uh, you know, he he don't back down for nobody and he always gonna compete. Um and you know, just as a competitor you can respect somebody like that. The zone was pretty effective in that third quarter in particular. What's kind of you know, your comfort level with it as a team right now? What kind of weapon could that possibly be later on this season? I mean, yeah, it's something that we've been working on. Um uh, that, you know. We feel like can be helpful 
you know, down the road. Uh, and, you know, we, we fuck it up sometimes, but, uh, you know, just our communication, I think. We're always just talking. Uh, you know, everybody has to be out there talking. And, uh, you know, I think that's the, it's like fun, you know, being in that defense. Because uh, we're still figuring it out ourselves. The Raptors kept coming, and you guys seem pretty unfazed. Is there a different level of confidence in those situations, do you feel like, this season? Um, I mean, you have to have a appropriate level of fear of your opponent, like the respect factor. Uh, you know, deep down inside, we know if we execute the right way on both ends and we play how we're supposed to, that, you know, we should always take care of business. But, uh, you know, it's just all about managing runs. You know, it's the NBA. Teams are really good, great players out there. They're going to make runs and hit shots, and it's all about how you respond. Yes, sir, last question. You talk about confidence, and you have a pretty balanced offensive production today. Um, how important is it to have, to have that in a, in a team, especially when things got complicated during the game? you saying, like, having an offensive balance? Yeah, that he was balanced defensive today. Yeah, I mean, it's as simple as we got a really good team. We got really good players that can play at a high level and, uh, you know, just spread the love. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.